this video is sort of a continuation from the last one. Okay, so we have our, um, our information. We were comparing or seeing if there was a connection between sales and advertising dollars. If you remember, we got an R value of 0.89. And so that was, oops, I put Y equals. R value was 0.89. Uh, that's a strong positive connection, which means we can use the linear regression equation to make some predictions. And so that's the advantage there. I should put strong positive correlation because it is a positive value. So I put that correlation, um, sorry, the regression line equation at the top of this that we calculated in the last video. And we want to use it to make predictions. So what I need you to be uh, careful of is which one of these stands for X and which is Y. In this case, the first set of numbers we put into our calculator were the sales values. So those are our X values and the advertising are our Y values. And the way that this equation is set up is it really is set up so that you can find out Y. If somebody gives you X, you would plug that number into this equation where the X is and do this calculation and it will tell you what the Y is. So the way our equation is set up, we would be able to tell, for instance, how many advertising dollars will likely be needed for a certain amount of sales projections. Um, now, generally speaking, you don't want to stray too far from the numbers in your X column. So I would not, it would not be appropriate for me to use this prediction equation for something like 250 for sales projections in the thousands. That's too far away from the span of numbers that are included here. So it's really only effective for the numbers right around these involved in this chart. But let's go ahead and talk about that. So let's do a prediction. Let's say um, I'm looking for sales projections for the following January of um, 125. So your book, your book will say, um, you know, to be a purist, you should not go outside this list. But 125 is close enough that our, our projection equation will be relatively effective. So I want to predict what's the Y value if I know that I have sales projections of 125. So I want to know, in this case, I'm trying to find Y, which is advertising dollars for a given X, which in this case are sales. So I want to know what, what should I, what advertising dollars should I expect to spend so that I get 125,000 in sales. And so it's just a plug and chug, an old fashioned plug and chug as sometimes we say in algebra. Oops, sorry about that. I'm trying to move this and it's all different pieces. So go back to your equation in purple. This time I have a number that I want to plug in for X. So in your calculator, you're going to do 0 0.057 times my X value, which is 125, and then minus 0.344. You do that all in one step in your calculator and you get 6.78. So that tells you you need to plan on if you round to the nearest tenth, about 6.8 thousand in advertising dollars to be able to project that amount of sales.